Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Apple Pay and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot lately. And that is how do you change the default card for your Apple Pay? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video, really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to change the default card in your Apple Pay? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you were at Target and you were buying some Oreos using your Apple Pay and you notice that Apple Pay automatically pops up with another credit card that you don't really like to use. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the Apple Pay wallet. It's this colorful looking wallet with a black background. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Apple Pay wallet now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Apple Pay wallet. This is the home screen here. Now, in order to change your default card to use for Apple Pay, there's actually two different ways you can do it. First, you need to realize that when you open up your Apple Pay wallet, whatever credit card or debit card is displayed right right here. This is your default card. So the first way that you can change this is just by sliding these cards around. So for example, if I want to use my Chase Sapphire as my default credit card in my Apple Pay, all I need to do is just grab the Sapphire card here. All right. So I've grabbed it. As you can see, I can move it around and you're just going to drag it to the front. All right. I've dragged it once and I dragged it to the front. Once you've dragged that credit card to the front, you're going to get this pop-up asking if you would like to use that card as your default card. So you just want to click on OK. And now you're your default card for Apple Pay has now changed. That's the first way that you can change your default card in Apple Pay. The second way is clicking here on the Apple Cash card. As you can see, it has the Apple logo and how much cash you have in it. I only have $23. Once you click there, it's going to show more information about your recent transactions with your Apple Cash card. However, in order to change the default credit card used in Apple Pay, click on these three dots here on the top right. Once you click there, you're going to get your Apple Cash options. So you just want to scroll down to the bottom. Bottom. Okay, once you get to the bottom, you're going to see this button right here called Express Transit Settings. Go ahead and click on there. So here you can use a card that does not require your PIN number or your Face ID. However, that's not what we're working on right now. I know it's kind of strange, but click back now, this blue button here on the top left. Once you click back, it's going to bring you to this section, Wallet and Apple Pay. And as you can see right here, you're going to see this line in Transaction Details. I'm sorry, Transaction Defaults. And the default card is my Chase Sapphire Reserve, as we had allocated earlier. So I'll just click on there. Okay, once you click there, you can choose which card you want to have as your default card in Apple Pay Cash. So I'll just choose Apple Cash here and back. And as you can see right here, the default card is now Apple Cash. Now, if we go back to the wallet, let me switch on over there. Okay, I switched back to my wallet. And as you can see, Apple Cash card is here on the front. So therefore, it is my default card for Apple Pay Cash. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to change the default credit card, for your Apple Pay wallet, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.